Hey, welcome to my channel and in this video I'm going to talk about how to enroll into Apple Developer Program or in other words uh, how to avoid some pitfalls when enrolling into Apple Developer Program like I did. In my case uh, enrollment took a month and hopefully I'll be saving you a couple of weeks. Uh, some backstory, uh, I run a Croatia based company and I made uh, React Native app. I wanted to publish that app to Play Store and to App Store under an organization account. Uh, getting into Play Store is simple and fast, but getting into App Store a totally different story and the process is uh, buggy. First mistake that I did was trying to enroll via web. Uh, it seems so simple when you open the web form. Uh, they tell you how they what you need, uh, the form you fill out the form and you might be done with 99% uh, of the process but you will be stuck at last. At the last part, the most important part, uh, the paying. So what I did was uh, I sent a web form and uh, soon I got a response from their support that they need to verify the data I entered. And okay, uh, it was fast. It uh, was like five minutes. Uh, their employee uh, checked uh, my data and that I am the legal representative of my company. And I was ready to use the app, uh, well not the app, but the web form and uh, pay for the subscription, which is $99. And my trying to pay always ended into order acknowledgement and never a confirmation. You might be getting something like this. Uh, thank you for your order, wait for two days, uh, then the order will be processed. And of course, in my case, it wasn't processed and it was uh, something was off because usually these kind of payments don't even take two days. They, they are faster. And what I tried was, uh, I'm hitting my second fail, contacting the support too often. So when you send the ticket, you will get a response to wait for two days and then someone will help you. If you send in two days, like every so often, every few hours or once per day, uh, you might be flagged uh, as spam and uh, your mails will never reach the support. I don't know, I can't confirm that, but uh, I never got uh, answer to some of the mails. I was like persistent. And why, why, why did I send the mails so often? Uh, for some of you, uh, there is a phone option and you can call, contact the Apple support right away. For some of us, there is no phone option, only the email form and you have to report an issue and then wait for 48 hours till someone helps you. And that's an issue. Then I finally receive an email from their support and the person tells me, yeah, we received the request, but uh, payment doesn't go through and we uh, honestly, we don't know why. Rather try the, rather try to enroll via app. And uh, what's about the app? Uh, you need an iPhone. Uh, and the process is started from scratch. But uh, I suggest you to try the app because it's a better route. At least it was for my case. So the steps are get an iPhone, install the app, Start everything from scratch. You will have to fill all the details if you already tried the web form. And the difference uh, between the web and the app is that you need to do an uh, identification verification. Uh, which means uh, you will need to take a photo with your iPhone of your ID or a driver's license. And there is another issue with that, uh, well it was in my case, is that uh, my perfectly readable photos and in good lighting uh, weren't getting through. I will constantly get the response that uh, photos are not in good quality. And so I uh, send another issue request and wait for two days. And uh, after two days uh, I get a response, uh, well it wasn't two days, I lie. 
it was uh, maybe one day, one day and a half. And their support uh, responded uh, with a secure link to upload uh, my photos. I could also upload the scans, so I did the scans. And that was done. And uh, again, I needed to uh, refill the company details because, as I said, the new enrollment, new type of enrollment restarts everything from scratch. So I needed to do a company verification. That meant, in my case, sending another request uh, containing my uh, phone and the preferred time to call uh, via email and wait for two days. And I waited, uh, I believe it was Friday, so I got a response uh, Tuesday uh, to the company verification. And uh, when I verified it, it took like five minutes and then I was uh, good to pay for the subscription. And then again, yet another problem with paying because payments don't get through. Uh, I have to state that the problem is not in my bank. I also tried uh, different payment methods. I tried Apple Pay, I tried Revolut, uh, Visa, Mastercard, uh, and then I was done. Like, okay, enough then. Uh, the answer I got was, uh, I think, something like, uh, internal error happened happened we don't know why contact the support so i was done with contacting this the support and waiting for two days and uh, then i called the 0800 number which is the number that uh, deals with uh, clients that have issues i don't know like with payments or iphones not the developers and they said they deal don't deal with, with developers but the good thing about that 0800 number is that they can connect you to the developer's uh, support. So they did. And the person helped me and uh, she said, uh, I think she said she doesn't know what's wrong with the payment, but she will uh, pass that to the dev team and then wait for 24 hours and try with the payment again. And so I did. Why not wait some more? And uh, I waited for 24 hours and uh, retried the payment and the uh, payment went through. So uh, I got in. The process took one month. Uh, hopefully I'll save you some time and uh, you'll be done with it within a week or two weeks. And uh, if you like uh, this content, uh, hit subscribe and uh, thanks for watching.